as you're in your comfortable position, just focus on your breath. I know a lot of times our breath is automatic and we breathe without even thinking about it. But at this time, let's focus on our breath. Breathe in with intention. And fill your lungs with air. Briefly pause before exhaling. So inhale in, fill in your lungs, fill in your stomach. And exhale. As you inhale, notice how the stomach rises. And as you exhale, the stomach deflates. Can you feel your breath in the different spaces of your body? Maybe your rib cage. Maybe if you place your hand on your belly, you might even feel your belly rise with the inhale. And when you belly rises, you know you're using the entire lung capacity and you're strengthening your lungs at the same time. As you inhale, stomach rises. And as you exhale, the stomach falls. As you exhale, do not shrink down with your exhalation. Just breathing in and breathing out. Tell, say to yourself, I'm breathing in and I'm breathing out. And if your mind wanders during this time, just simply acknowledge that your mind has wandered and guide your attention back to your breath. Allow your breath to bring you a feeling of tranquility and calmness. We'll take a couple more breaths and then we'll begin our practice. I'll let you know in a few minutes by just warming up the muscles that we're about to work. So with your next breath, go ahead and open your eyes if you'd like to, or you could keep them closed, it's your choice. We're gonna warm up our necks today. So we're just gonna tilt our head, inhale as you lift your gaze up. We're gonna, and exhale as we, we bring our chin to our chest. Just nice and slow, just warming up those muscles. Inhaling up and exhaling down at your own pace. Inhaling up and down at your own pace. Inhaling up. Exhaling, chin to chest. Keep your shoulders soft. Inhale back to center. And the next thing we'll do, we'll look right and then we'll look left, but move at a gentle, slow pace. Looking right, inhaling and exhaling, and then looking left. Nice and slow, inhaling and exhaling at your own pace, moving at your own pace, just right and left, the neck. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling right, exhaling to center. And come back to neutral. 
Now let's move it, do a gentle side bend. Nothing deep, because we're just warming up those muscles. So go ahead and you can extend your arms down so the fingertips are pointing to the floor and just lean side to side and back to center and then over to the other side. Move with your breath. Makes it a lot easier. Keep your, check your posture. Make sure you're maintaining your mountain pose. A few more side to side, warming up the spine. Let's just do one more set on each side. So to the right. And then to the left and come back to center. You know what I found? Sometimes if you keep a block between your knees, you can maintain that mountain pose. You can keep your knees from flaring out. So from here, let's go ahead and do a couple shoulder rolls. So inhaling up and over, just keep your hands nice and soft. So just roll into shoulders. Inhaling up and around. Let's do a few more. One more, and then let's go forward. Keep your shoulders nice and soft. Just roll those shoulders, warming up those shoulder joints. Just one more. Shake your arms out. And let's go ahead and do a, a easy side twist. So I'm gonna scooch a little bit to the edge of my chair. I'm gonna lengthen up and just twist gently to the right. Exhale back, inhale up and exhale to the, to the other side. Gentle side twists, inhale to the center and exhale to the other side. Come back to center and exhale, use your breath. Let's do one more set on each side. Inhale, exhale. Back to center and then to the other side. Perfect. Now from here, let's go ahead and do our cat cows. So you're still in your check-in and make sure you're in your mountain pose. And as you inhale, you're gonna lift your gaze. These are small moves because we're just warming up the spine. Small moves today, right now. Just inhaling and exhaling, not very deep. Inhale and as you lift up, exhaling down and bringing your belly button in as you come in. Inhaling up and exhaling down. Inhaling up and exhaling down. From here, we're gonna, I'm gonna hold on to the side. Feel free to, you don't have to hold on if you're, I'm gonna, we're gonna do leg lifts. So we're gonna warm up the core area. So I'm gonna hold on to my, the side of my chair next to my hips and just lift my legs up. Inhale, we're alternating. Inhale as you lift, exhaling down. So like a march, inhaling up and exhaling down. Inhaling up and down. Inhaling up and exhaling down. Inhaling up and exhaling down. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Let's just do one more on each side. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhaling up and exhaling down. And from here, let's move on to um, our, let's do our, we're gonna do the, our ankles and our toes. So go ahead and hold on to the side of your chair, or if you don't need to hold on, that's fine too, but I feel it's a lot easier to hold on. Feel free to lift your leg off the floor or and point and flex, or you can keep the heel down, whichever feels good to you today. Point and flex, just easy pointing and flexing. We're just warming up our ankles. Pointing and flexing, inhaling and exhaling. Now from here, let's do some rolls. 
So circling in a clockwise or counterclockwise position. If your left muscles get tired, just go ahead and put your leg, your foot down to the floor. Perfect. Let's move on to the other side. So I'm gonna extend my left leg from a point and flex and point and flex and point and flex and point and flex. Now I'll do some circles, circle in a clockwise position. Now let's do in the opposite direction. Perfect. Now let's come, bring your legs back up and let's just go ahead and do some heel lifts. So you're in your mountain pose, just begin to lift the heels up and down. When you come down, lift the toes up. So inhale as you lift the heels up. Now lift the toes and heel and toes. Lifting the heels, now lifting the toes. And let's go ahead and do a hamstring stretch and then we'll begin. This will we'll move into the practice. So extending the right leg, scoot to the edge of your chair. Feel free to hold on so you don't fall. Left knees over the left ankle and just flex the foot. You don't have to lean forward. This is not a deep stretch today, right now. Just stretching the hamstring. Now let's do the other one. So I extend my left leg, flexing my toes. So my toes are coming towards the nose and sitting up nice and straight. Okay, so bring your leg in now. Let's move it. I'll scooch back into my chair a little bit more. And then we'll begin with a pelvic tilt about five of those. So you're still in your mountain pose. Shoulders are still back and down. Now scoop your belly in, just the belly. We're gonna warm up the spine, but we're gonna go from the base of the spine all the way up to the back. So inhale as you scoop the belly in, inhale as you lengthen up and exhale, scoop the belly in. So this is a this is the pelvic tilt. We'll do we'll do about five of these. Let's do two more. This is great for the lower back. Lower back and the abdomen and the pelvic floor. It strengthens those areas. Just do one more. Now do let's do uh, pelvic circles. So we're gonna move in, use the same pelvic area, scoop in and then circle around. So scoop your pelvic in. Now, I don't know if you're able to see what I'm doing, but what I'm doing is scooping the pelvic in then circling around to the right. Let's just do one more. Come back to center and let's do the, do, Repeat that on the opposite direction. So scoop your pelvic in and circle around. So by the time you come back to the back of the chair, the pelvic should be scooping in and out. So you're scooping it in and out and in and out. Let's just do one more. Come back to center. And stay here for a moment for an inhale and an exhale. Just pause and see how you feel. Now we're gonna move up the spine. So this time we're gonna do a deeper cat-cat. We warmed up the spine earlier. So let's go ahead. You can place your hands on your thigh and inhale as you, and exhale as you, you curl in. 
So you notice my hands on my thigh and inhale. And as I exhale, move my, my hands down. Inhale, bringing your shoulder blades together in the back and exhaling. Let's do two more, inhaling, exhaling. Now on the last one, let's hold it. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale into cat pose. One, two, three, four, five, and come back to center. And stay here for an inhale and an exhale. From here, I'm going to do what we call a, a, a um, pelvic. It's going to be a, a dancing cow. And this is great for the hips, the pelvic area, the psoas muscle. So I'm going to scooch to the edge of my chair. And so I'll show you the first one. I'm going to lift as I crunch down. So lift the leg, crunch down. So you can hold on to the side of the chair by the hips. Or you could just, if you feel more comfortable lifting, just maybe curling up, curling up. This is working on the core, curling. So, so inhale, opening up the spine, exhale, crunching up. This will give you a really flat belly. This is called, this is what I call the dancing cat. Let's just do, let's do one more set on each side. Perfect, come back to center. And from here, let's do, um, we're gonna do a fold. So we did the spine, so let's go ahead and inhale. And we're gonna forward fold. So inhale up, engage your core. And fold forward, stick up, your arms are behind. So inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up and exhale down. The last one we'll hold, inhale up, exhale, forward fold and hold it. You can hold on to the backrest of your chair, maintain your mountain pose. I know the leg likes to flare out. Inhale up to center and come back to center. Take a sip of water if you need to. So from here, we're going to move on to a spinal twist. But we'll inhale up, exhale around. So inhale up, exhale as you twist. Pressing one hand on the thigh and one on the back seat, backrest or the back of your chair. Inhale up, exhale around. Let's inhale up, exhale round. Let's do that one more time. Inhale up on each side, exhale around. One more, inhale up, exhale around. Inhale back and come back to center. Take a couple breaths here. Take a, take a pause, take a breath. From here, we're gonna move on to a side bend. So we'll inhale up, exhale over. Inhale, bringing the left hand up, exhale and bringing the arm down. Point into the floor. Inhale, bringing the arm up. Exhaling over. Inhaling up. Exhaling over. Inhaling up. Exhaling over. Inhaling up and coming back to neutral. Let's see what we're doing next. Um, let's do our marching because we're going to work on our core. We're going to work on our or um, this muscle here, the quadricep muscle, the big muscle in front of the leg. 
So let's go ahead. Feel free to not hold on or hold on to the chair. We're just gonna march our legs up and down. Using march with your breath. Feel free to use your arm or not use them. Use your core to lift your leg. Okay, let's, so let's move, let's work on our hips. So begin to move. So we're gonna lift and move out and back in. Inhale up and out and back in. Inhale up, out and back in, up and out. Use your breath. Let's just do one set, one more set, one on each side. Come back to center. And let's go ahead and do our a number four stretch. So you know the number four stretch, there are several uh, options. So the option is, I'm gonna show you how to use your belt if you have trouble with your bringing your legs up. So the options are put in your belt around your foot and using it to lift. So this is an extension of our arms, so lifting the, using the belt or towel to lift your leg up. And this is a easy number four stretch. If you wanna make it a little more challenging, go ahead and bring it all the way up to the thigh, pressing your outer ankle on your thigh. And if you still wanna make that a little bit more challenging with a long spine, lean over that leg. And if you still wanna make it a little more challenging, go ahead and bring your fingertips to the floor. So whichever works for you, if you just wanna sit up straight, that's fine too. And what we're working on is this, psoas, this muscle on the, the IT band, which is a muscle that runs on the outside of your hips. And you would like to hold these stretches about 30 seconds for them to be more effective. Inhale as you come up, exhale as you release your leg down and let's do that on the other side. I'm gonna use my belt. So make sure the left knees over the left ankle and lose, use the belt to lift my leg up. Feel free to use your belt anytime you want to. For, for this, I'm gonna sit really nice and straight. So if you have a really tight hip, then you, want, you don't wanna have pain when you do yoga. So if you're having any pain, just modify the pose or get out of the pose until you can join the practice. There's no pain in yoga. Couple more seconds. Let's release our leg to the floor. And I think we've done this before, but I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate. We're gonna do alternate nostril breathing for a moment. Take a breath, take a break. So come into your mountain pose. You can sit back more in your chair if you'd like to. We're gonna do alternate nostril breathing. So bring your right hand to the, make a C around your nose. So what we're gonna do is take a couple of nice deep breath on your own. Now close the right nostril, breathe through the left, pause at the top, close the left and exhale through the right. Now inhale through the right, close the right, pause at the top and exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Pause, close, pause, and exhale through the right. Do a couple, a couple of those on your own.
Now release your head and just do a couple, um, return to your normal breathing pattern and just notice how you feel. Just notice. Do you feel like the passages are a little clear, a little, that you could breathe a little more deeply now? Okay, so we, we're gonna do um, work on our eyes. It's a muscle that we sometimes neglect, but let's go ahead and we're gonna go, just imagine that there's a clock in front and you're gonna look up, not moving your head, but let's move your eyes up to 12 and then the eyes down to six. So 12, now six, 12, six, 12, six, 12, and six. Now close your eyes and open. And then we're gonna go from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. with our eyes, just our eyes, not the head, I, three, nine, Three, three, nine, nine, three, three, nine, nine, and three. Close your eyes for a moment. And now we're gonna go the entire clock, face of the clock. So we're gonna go 12, one, 12, one, two, three, four, five, all back to 12, and then we'll go counterclockwise with our eyes. So open your eyes, so we'll go 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, and 12. Remember to breathe. Now go, let's go the other way. 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to 12. Now close your eyes and open. And see, we sometimes forget that our muscles, our eyes are muscles and we tend not to do those. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our chin to chest. Inhale as you lift up. Notice the difference in your Neck muscles went from when you first started. Inhale as you look up and exhale as you look down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up and exhale down. Let's do two more. Inhale up, exhale down. Just one more. Inhale up, exhale down and come back to center. Now let's do some head circles. No, I, I just like to do half circles. I don't like to circle my head all the way around, but feel free to do that if that works for you. I like to just go like, I like to just, you know, bring my chin to my chest and then lift my gaze up and then bring my chin back to my chest and then look up. That's how, that's how I don't like to circle my head all the way around. So this, feel free to do that if, if you're comfortable with it, but I'm just gonna do half circles. Just half circles. And you know, when you look up, you could let your eyes look down. That's also another way of working on those eye muscles. And so your eyes would look down. So bring your chin to the chest and then look up. Eyes looking down. And feel that stretch along the side of your neck. Keep your shoulders soft. Let's just do that one more time on the side. Let's bring our chin back to our chest and come back to the center. Let's do alternate shoulder shrugs. So in, you can keep your hands on your thighs and just shrug the right shoulders and then the left, or you may let, release your hands to the floor and just alternate them. Now, now, we did this before when we warmed up, but you notice how they feel now compared to when you first started. Now let's do them together, inhale. And as you come up towards your ears and then you bring them back, your shoulder blades are coming together, notice that. Maintain your posture. Perfect, let's come up. 
Let's do it one more time. Shake your arm out and let's go the opposite, opposite direction. Inhale up and forward. Inhale up. Inhaling up and forward. Let's do two more. Come back to center. Okay. So from here, we're gonna work on our wrist, on our hands, on our wrist. So inhale, interlace the fingers, inhale them up and bring them forward. Now bend your, so go ahead and bend the right arm over the head, keep your head straight and just bring, um, bring the forearm across the top of your head and notice where you feel in the stretch. Now let's inhale up and just do that one more time on the, this side. And inhale back to center and release your arm down. Let's do a full body stretch. So to do the full body stretch, we're gonna pretend we're on the floor, but we're not. So we're gonna extend our feet in front of us. Scoot to the edge of your chair. Don't fall, hold on. And from here, I'm gonna lean on the back rest of my chair. I'm gonna extend my arms up and over. And my gaze is looking at the ceiling. Breathe. Keep your feet flexed, breathing in and out. So this is a full body stretch when you're laying in bed. This is something you can actually do lying in bed. Bring your arms down, hold on to the chair and bring your legs up. Let's do a boat pose. And then we're gonna um, go to stand, do a couple of standing poses. So scooch into the edge of your chair. Remember we did this in the warm up. So the boat pose is where you're leaning, coming forward, using the core. Now for the, the next pose we'll do is a boat pose with a leg lift. So um, lift the leg and bicep curl at the same time, lift the leg, bicep curl. So you're leaning back some. Using your core muscles, make them strong. Perfect, that's just one more. Take a nice deep breath here, take some water if you need to. Let's do a wide leg, we're gonna work on our groin. We're gonna wider, make our legs wide as wide as is comfortable for you. Turn our feet about 45 degrees. We're just gonna do a groin stretch. So the stretch is gonna be in the groin area. Lengthen up through the spine. Then from here, let's do a, a lean and twist. So from here, I'm gonna lean forward and twist to the right. Come back to center. Lean forward and twist to the left. Come back forward. Let's just do that one more time on each side. Lean forward and twist to the other side. Come back to center. Let's do that one more time. Lean forward, twist to the other side. And come back to center. Okay. Let's do, before we get up, we go to stand and let's do our knee drop. We're already, our legs are al already wide, holding on to this side of your chair, drop your knee down, the right knee down. Feel the stretch along here. Let's just do the right leg a few times. One more time. 
Perfect. Let's do the other side now. So dropping the left knee down, keeping the shoulder, keeping the spine long and lifted. Just do one more. Perfect. Swivel the feet in. Let's windshield wiper them a little bit and let's get ready for standing. Okay, are you guys ready for standing? Let's use our uh, chair pose to stand. We're not gonna hold on. We're gonna put the most of the weight in our heel Place your hands on your thighs, rock forward, and come into a nice standing position. So today we're going to work on our posture. So we're going to do we're going to do our standing mount. You can keep your chair where you have them. I just wanted to move the chair so that you can see what I'm doing. So from mountain pose, this is our mountain pose. Standing, feet forward, knees over the ankle, hip width apart hips over the knees, shoulders back and down, neck in line with the spine. And from here, we're, we're gonna go on to our extended mountain. So extended mountain is from your mountain pose, you're gonna extend up, lengthen up all the way. So you become nice and tall, use your breath. Let's just do that one more time. Inhale up, breathe and exhale down. Now from mountain pose, let's go into chair pose. So I'd like for you to use your, be, your, be in front of your chair, behind your chair, because, in front of your chair, because I don't want you to fall. So from, from mountain pose, so all, all poses start with mountain pose, all standing poses. So for, for the chair pose, you're gonna engage your core. You're gonna stick your tailbone out. You're gonna bend your knees as if you're gonna sit and then use whichever arm position works for you. You can go ahead and do this, or maybe do this. This is a really dynamic stretch. So let's do that again. Engage your core, bend the knees, knees over the ankle, stick your tailbone out, extend your arms. Maybe looking down to the floor, Maybe your head is between your elbows. Breathe in. Coming back to standing. That's a really dynamic stretch. Now from here, let's go on to our, um, our uh, press ups. So I'm behind the chair, I'm gonna press up. The last one will hold. So let's go into our mountain pose from mountain pose behind the chair. Let's do press up with mountain, with extended mountain. So go, let's do number two, five and the fifth one, we'll do that. So press up and bring the toes up, heel up. Now the toes are up. Heel up, now toes up. Let's do that one more time, but this time, let's see if we can do the extended mountain with this. So extend up, extend maybe one arm up, maybe both arms up, but don't, your chair is always here. Look straight ahead, find something that doesn't move. Release your arm down, release down. Take a nice deep breath here. From here, let's go into our um, easy back bend. So we're back in our mountain pose. We're gonna place our hands behind the back of our head. And from here, always engage your core. Your elbows are out to the side, lift your gaze. Press with the back, not the head, not, not with your head. The hand is only there to support your head. Breathing in and breathing out. 
Come back to center. And let's do our balancing pose today. So we're gonna do our tree pose today. No, let's do, let's do our, our hip circles and then we'll do the tree pose. So again, we're in our mountain pose. No, our legs are a little bit wider than the mountain. They're about hip width apart. And from here, we're gonna just circle the hips around. So, so you notice you're using all the muscles, you're using your core, you're using your hips, all the muscles. Come back to center, let's repeat that on the other side. Back to center. And let's face the, uh, I'm by the side of my chair, we're gonna go into our tree pose. So from your mountain pose, shoulders back and down. Find something in front of you that doesn't move to focus your gaze on. Now this, you can begin by just doing this. This is a shrub. If you go a little bit deeper, this is your tree pose. Feel free to let go of the chair or hold on to the chair, it doesn't matter. From one day to the next, we're not always the same. Perfect. Let's try that on the other side. So I'm gonna move my chair over. I'm gonna shift my weight into, from my mountain pose, shift my weight into this leg. And then I'm gonna go into the, so basically I'm gonna turn my, so I like a number four stretch and then bring it up. Keep your core long and lifted. Keep your gaze pointing, looking straight ahead. And then when you feel ready, if you're ready today, you can release both arms up. We're never the same from day to day. Try to hold on with one hand, one finger, whichever works. Release your arm down, close the pose and release your leg to the floor. Okay, we might have time for in our standing to uh, do warrior one. So I'm gonna stand beside my chair. My right leg is gonna turn from my mountain pose. Remember everything begins in the mountain. Turn my right leg pointing in that pointing straight ahead. Then I'm gonna turn my right, the other leg pointing in the same direction about 12 inches away. Engage your core. Bend the right knee, so it's over the right knee, knees over the right ankle. Use whichever arm position feels good to you. The back leg is straight and the knees on the, and the heel is on the floor. Feel whichever, do whichever position feels good, extend up. Maybe one arm. Maybe both, whichever one feels good to you. Maybe cactus. Come back to center, release your arm down. And let's repeat that on the other side. So the right leg is forward. So now I'm gonna bring my right leg back. My left leg is it forward. They're both pointing in the same direction. Okay, I'm gonna bend my left knee so it's over the left ankle. Engage my core. Find something in front that doesn't move to gaze on. When you're ready, you may release one arm up. And if you're ready, you may release both arms up. And this is warrior one. Let's release our arms down. Do, let's just do one more thing before we sit. Let's do a couple of squats. I wanted to show you, I, I, I'm gonna show you the squats on the behind the chair, and then I'm gonna show it to you on the wall. 
So I'm gonna stand with my feet. My toes are about 40, they're about 45 degrees. I'm gonna engage my core. I'm gonna squat down. So the knee is over the ankle. When I come up, I tighten the glutes. Squat, tighten. Let's do that one more time and tighten. And let me show you how to do that against your wall. So if you have a wall at home, let me turn my camera. So you're gonna stand by the wall. Your feet are about 12 inches away. You're gonna rest your, your hips on the wall, the shoulders, your arms. And then you're just gonna squat down as low as comfortable for you. So you wanna hold it about five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. But feel free to just, I just wanted to give you an option. That's just another way to do your squats at home, okay? So, Let's do our number of five pointed star and then we'll come back to our chair. Legs are a little bit wider than about hip width apart. Still maintaining your posture. Extend your arms up. You could do one arm or both arms, whichever works for you. And just lift, lift your gaze. And this is only like a full body stretch. Release your arms down. Let's come back to our chair. So take a, take a few moments just to, to sit. Take a few, take your water, get a sip of your water if you have it close by. And just notice how you feel. So just close your eyes for a moment and just notice how you feel. Shake your arms out, shake your legs out. And let's begin to cool down some. So we'll start with our feet. So we'll do both feet together. So begin to point and flex. You can lean, sit back in the chair if you'd like to. Just point and flex them. Now circle. Circle in the other direction. Let's do a hamstring stretch. This time I'm gonna use my belt. I'm gonna use my belt for the hamstring stretch. You don't have to, but feel free to use it. And then I'm gonna just turn my, my foot in. So it's pointing inwards. And now I'm gonna point it out. I'm gonna move my chair back so you can see my foot. And then I'll do that on the other side. So I'm using my belt. I'm just gonna flex them up. And then flex them inwards. You feel it all the way along here. The IT band. And now let's turn it out. Perfect. Let's go ahead and do, we did our hips. So let's go ahead and do something for the hips. I'm just gonna pretend that there is a block here or a stone or something. I'm gonna scooch to the edge of my chair. I'm gonna lift my leg up and over. So inhale as you lift up, exhale as you lift over. Inhale up and over. Let's do that on the other side. So lift my leg up and over. Lift up and down. Inhale as you lift, exhale over. Inhale, lift, exhale over. Perfect. Now from here, let's go ahead and do a couple cat cows. 
These are all muscles we work before. We're just going to cool them down. Just nice, easy back bends. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and do a spinal twist. So we'll do a easy bump. So easy fist bump. And just turn to the right. Back to center and turn to the left. Inhaling, exhaling, don't forget to breathe. Inhaling and coming back to center. Now let's do this, our side bend. So I'm gonna hold on to the right side of my chair, the left side of my chair. I'm gonna extend up and over. And then to the other side. And then over. And the other side. Come back to center. Now let's go ahead and just inhale up and come down. Now go up and out. Let's do that one more time. Inhale up and down and then up and down into cactus pose. And from cactus, let's go ahead and do a, give ourselves big hugs. We deserved it because we're working hard today. And let's go ahead and do the same, but the left, the other arm is on the top. Now, would you guys like to do eagle pose? So let's go ahead and extend. This is pretty much the same. So bring your right arm on top. And then, so the eagle pose is sort of like this, but then you're doing it this way. So feel free to just do this if you want, but if you'd like a little more. So the right arm is on top. Now we'll do the left arm on top. So you're crisscrossing the arms and then you're just trying to put your hands together. And that's your eagle pose. Release your arms, shake them out. Shake your shoulders out. A couple of nice shoulder shrugs. Shake your arms out. And we started with, so let's go ahead and do our next stretches. So I'm gonna put my right ear to my right shoulder. And this is one of my favorites. I'm gonna put my right hand here. And then I'm gonna release my left hand down. And you can put your head, don't, nope. You're not pressing down, you're just resting. I think the weight of the hand is enough to give you that nice stretch along the shoulder blade. Inhale up, release your arm down. Let's repeat that on the other side. So my left ear to my left shoulder. Keep the other shoulder soft. And maybe bring your hand to the side of your head. And maybe extend the right arm out. Release your hand. Inhale back to center. And let's, let's do our final pose. We're just gonna inhale as we lift up. And exhale as you bring your gaze down. Inhale as you lift up. Nice deep breath, exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Now just sit for a moment and just notice how you feel. Take some nice deep breath. Take some nice deep breath before we go into our final relaxation. You can shake out your arms, shake out your legs.
So we're going to we're going to get ready for a final relaxation. Go ahead and sit back in your chair. If possible, try to keep your back away from the backrest. And like we start in our seated mountain, same position, feet on the floor, knees over the ankle, spine long and lifted. So congratulations on completing today's practice. And my hope is that you have enjoyed the practice. Not, we're not perfect, so it's a practice. And my hope is that your body has benefited from it. So now go ahead, just shake out your head, arms, shake out, roll your shoulders, shake out your legs. And now feel free to close your eyes or soften your gaze. Relax your shoulders. And relax your arms and your hands as you settle your body into the chair. So inhaling and exhaling. As you inhale, exhale, you release any obvious tension that may have risen in your body. And just allow your breathing to be effortless and relaxed. Notice how you feel. Notice the feelings, thoughts, sensation that may be present. Breathing in, breathing in kindness, gentleness, everything that's good and exhaling and releasing anything that's not serving your purposes right now. Just continue to breathe in and out a few more breaths on your own. Just breathing in, breathing out. You could even say to yourself, I'm breathing in and I'm breathing out. I'm breathing in and I'm breathing out. I'm breathing in and breathing out. Or you may count five on the inhale, pausing at the bottom and exhaling for count of five. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for spending your practice with me, sharing your practice with me. As you re-engage with the activities of your day, just remember that this quality of breath and body awareness is available to you anytime. So enjoy the day. The light in me sees and acknowledges the light in you. Namaste. Thank you.